So here we are. Uh, this is a, just your average park here in Seattle. Um, got cars around, and I'm trying out my new uh, stealth camping gear, uh, the Ionosphere by Snug Pack. Also have my uh, camo tarp and some camo netting. And I just wanted to bring it out and see if it could kind of blend in something like this where nobody would really notice. So I'm in this area and I don't believe you've seen where it is yet. It's not that easy to see, but <clears throat> here we go. Nobody seems to be paying any mind. Nothing's weird. Just kind of walking around the park. Ooh, look, a nice bench. I love benches. It's a beautiful day out today. So we're just gonna chill out here on the bench. Mm, nothing's exactly ordinary. Just a dude sitting on a bench. Nothing's weird. Nothing's crazy. Yeah. Nobody seems to be paying any mind. It's about uh, 11 a.m. And I set up my whole thing. It took about probably 12 to 15 minutes because people were walking by and you got to be quiet. Tents are kind of noisy. But out here in these kind of, this is not woods, but, you know, it's just out here someplace I don't know if you spotted it yet anyhow we got these people coming here just chilling out in the park everybody's walking along nobody's paying any attention wearing my shorts just chilling out having a smoke these people with their tiny dog really beautiful park and it has these nice kind of hidden little sections where you could easily uh, stealth camp and I'm just waiting until these people pass there's two ladies right there and I'll show you so about Eh, 20 feet away from me is where I'm set up. And you can clearly see it. Kind of. See it? Yeah. Alright, well, this is what we got. Go back here. There you go. Hard to see unless you're really paying attention. I even got my bag right there that I carried everything in. It's a little uh, 30 liter capacity north face bag. Kind of covered it up a little bit with the snug pack. And uh, there you go. It's hard to see. See, let's uh, take a couple steps back. Even over this way. Ah, crap, people are coming. See, stealth camping. It's the wave of the future. And there goes the gardeners for the area running around. Right there. And they haven't noticed anything. And I just kind of threw the tarp on. I didn't put it down or anything, you know, tack it down. And the netting over the top right there is just to uh, switch up the colors a little bit and to kind of give you a bulge. So, that's that. The person just walking on by. Over there. And over here. So let's see here. How easily can you see it? Nobody spotted it yet. <laughs> 
setting stuff on fire here. It's gone. <clears throat> See? Totally gone. And I'm 15 feet away from it. Just from the shade. And that uh, tree over there kind of blanks it out. So if you can get a little bit closer here. It's there. Right behind all that stuff. But unless you're focusing on it, you don't see it at all. Let's see how far I have to go till I can't see it at all, knowing where it is. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. This angle you can't see it, of course, because the gold shrub's in the way. Honestly, even now you can't see it unless you know what you're looking for. And right now, it just kind of looks like debris. Not even, you know, just from shrubs and branches and stuff. So, it's pretty well fucking camoed. So, again, that's it. Here, I'll show you real quick. There we go. See? Yeah, low light helps, but even just walking by, you don't notice it. Let's try it from this angle. Here you can see it, but even then it blends in pretty darn well. You really gotta look to see what you're, you know, there's a tent there. Just walking by here. You wanna blend, so let's just say you're walking by. All right, we're on the path here. It's a whole 15 feet to see the tent. See, this is right. That's a museum. Well, that's a greenhouse, but you can see, I can plainly see it right there. I mean, I know what I'm looking for, but that wouldn't draw anybody's eye. And through here. So yeah, Camilla Rocks. Makes it so you can camp in places if need be that are relatively near whatever supplies you might need. Whether it's an emergency situation or uh, you just don't want to go way out into the boonies. So that's about it. I can cover it up a little bit better, but I think it looks quite nice. <laughs>